How are we doing, Scorpio? This is your mid-March major. I'm going to focus on your major, get some oracle cards, get some tarot cards to close out March. Your major this month is the chariot. The chariot, Scorpio, as you know, is a travel card. Um, it's saying victory is non-optional. Uh, determined has to do with action, taking action, and karma. So let's see what's driving you, Scorpio, for the end of March. You have the waning gibbous moon. Waning gibbous is cleansing and introspection. So going within, realizing, um, going within to dissect what's going on. Your fortune card is horse freedom. So there'll be lots of travel, Scorpio, this month. The horse card you have. The horse symbolizes freedom and reliability of a partner. There is a need to be free from all burdens and shackles with this card. When drawn in a love reading, it shows a partner who is consistently reliable. When drawn in a work reading, it shows that there is too much pressure or a high workload. The star sign Gemini can be present and it represents the horse in the Chinese zodiac. So, freedom, trying to get away or moving victoriously away from something that you want to cleanse. Let's look at your tarot cards. Very defiant, Scorpio, whatever's going on. You've got the Temperance and Seven of Wands. Um, temperance speaks of uh, symmetry. Um, one sec, I just want to look at this real quick. Um... So there's a cause and effect, something happened, which led to somebody being defiant. Um, talks about flow, balancing, healing, um, restraint. So trying to get away from something, trying to Moderate and def uh, stand your ground about something. You also got the Seven of Wands again and the King of Cups. So doubly standing your ground on something. Um, taking a stand against maybe... Being overworked. Maybe you want a vacation. Or taking a stand against this male water sign. Because you want to go in a different direction. Good luck, Scorpio. Remember, the chariot. Victory is non-optional.